Hey, Lorraine. Are you encouraging my son to convert? Is that the idea behind taking him to the Baptist church? Is this your idea of counseling? Look, I would love to have James with us, but he doesn't want to be. I want James confirmed in the Catholic Church. But you can't force a person into a religious belief, Lorraine. That went on with the Inquisition, remember? You know what? If you're not going to take this seriously, Father Ray, I will find a priest who will. Lorraine, your religion is who you are at your core. It's the God you go to when you die. And which God you choose, that's important. But the right to make that choice freely is even more important. I'll celebrate whatever James does choose because that will mark his first step as a man. Let him be a man, Lorraine. Father Martin, you wanted to see me. Sister Maureen. Uh, Eric, could you uh, excuse us for a moment, please? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, let me just get this oh, out. Oh, no, that, that's all right. OK. Looking forward to the welcoming mass on Sunday. Is everything, is everything arranged? Yes, just the way you wanted it. Good. You know, I've been going through everybody's responsibilities around here. You're, you're the director of religious education. Is that I am. Right? Mm -hmm. So you supervise Eric's teachings. I do. How would you evaluate your performance in the job? <laughs> Father Martin, if there's something that you would like to say to me regarding my work, <laughs> you can go right ahead and say it. Well, everything I have to say can be summarized in two words. Oh. Mozart and mosquitoes. These kids are preparing for confirmation. Shouldn't they be learning something more substantial? Well, I'm trying to give Eric some space for experimentation. And actually, I think that project is quite inventive. It is challenging those kids to think about God in a different way. Mm -hmm. And I can assure you that all of the bases are being covered. Eric tells me that the DRE position is not your favorite job. That isn't necessarily true. I don't believe staff should be doing jobs they aren't really interested in. Excuse me, I never said but I wasn't in some interested. some parishes, the DRE position is rotated through the staff. Maybe it's time for a change. And if I don't do that program, what will I be doing around here? Oh, Sister Marine, from what I've heard, your plate is already very full. Maybe it's, maybe it's too full. What's that all about? Don't pretend you don't know. Excuse me. I don't know. How dare you discuss my job with him? Look, he just asked me a couple of questions. Yes, and why were you so willing to answer? Well, the, the only thing I said was that director of religious education wasn't your favorite part of the job. Listen to me, Eric. The church is a place for prayer and a lot of other wonderful things. It's also an enormous bureaucracy. There's a lot of power plays that go on here, and people get hurt for real. So be careful. Look, maybe I spoke out of turn, Mo, and I apologize for that. But maybe this Father Martin isn't that bad of a guy. I mean, maybe he's just trying to restore a little bit of order into a church which desperately needs it. Eric, wake up. This man is trying to provoke us, and he is succeeding. Do you mind if I, if I join you? Look, I'm... I'm sorry about our misunderstanding the other day. This hasn't been an easy time. Transitions never are. But it's a necessary evil. Necessary? For who? <laughs> you know, you have a real gift with your anger, Ray. But it's not a war. It isn't? You know, we got welfare cuts, uh, immigration problems, the underclass. Seems like a war to me. I was talking about you and I. I spent the last five years of my life building this parish. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit by and watch it dismantled. There's not much to dismantle. It's falling apart on its own, Ray. The center will not hold. Yeah, but you see, we've never been much about the center. We've always been about people at the edges. Who knows? Maybe you're right. Maybe there was nothing here. Maybe it's time just to pack it all in. 
Is that what the bishop is trying to tell me? I, I don't know. I'm still trying to understand what he was trying to tell me by putting me here with you. <laughs> you know, there aren't that many of us priests left. If we could somehow pull together, we could create something really exciting here. And, uh, Ray, one more thing. <sighs> Lorraine Hamilton, she complained to me about the way you were counseling her son. I'll, uh, I'll be handling that from now on. in trouble for this? Oh, you mean they're gonna put us on detention? Let me worry about that. You approve? It's a start. Is it enough? I thought before we say the profession of faith, we might ask those students who are to be confirmed at Pentecost to rise for a special blessing. Please stand when I call your name. Ashley Baldwin. Michael Burns, Jessica Colton, James Douglas Hamilton. For your journey, I'll see you at home. Well, Katie Jackson, Marlon Johnson, please rise and join those who are to be confirmed in reciting the profession of our faith, that which makes us one true Catholic body of believers. We believe in one God, the Father and Mother, the Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. And Mother! Through him all things were made. For us men, and brothers and sisters, this is the profession of faith. Welcome to St. Thomas, Father. And for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, and was born of the Virgin Mary, and became a human. Thanks for seeing me. Any time, Ray. I suppose you've come to talk about the Mass yesterday. <sighs> if you like, but I want to talk to you about something else first. When I was here last time, you claim that I like vision. Well, you're wrong. I believe, like you, in a church that took 2,000 years to build. But I also believe that we haven't finished building it yet. I mean, I, I believe in the infallibility of the Pope and all that, but long before there were Popes, there was, there was Peter. And he made plenty of mistakes. And you know what? The church thrived anyway. 
And that's exactly what our church is doing right now, thriving. Because when the church is finished, if, if it ever is, it'll be big enough for St. Peter's and St. Thomas's, for, for Father Martin's and for Sister Moe's, even for you and for me. You're suddenly eloquent, right? It's good to see you have developed a vision, no matter how personal. I suppose now one would have to say what we have at St. Thomas is a dialectic. Your point of view, Father Martin's. When that dialectic becomes unsupportable, I suppose I shall step in and resolve it. Now take your time, Bishop Corey. Because you know what? I'm not going anywhere. On the next Nothing Sacred. I'm thinking of leaving. I think my calling is to be a priest. I want her out. You want to fire Mo? I stood up there and I was humiliated. When you participate in that miracle on that altar, it transcends gender. Why does it make you so angry that I want to participate in that same miracle? I need to know there'll be no major changes while I'm gone. I am fully empowered to shape this staff any way I see fit. You don't need to protect me. Martin, Mo goes. We all go. the story of a woman's choice between the man who captured her heart I love you and I'm not gonna let you just walk away and the one who touched her soul I know I'll have to win you I'm willing to do anything Halle Berry stars in the television event of the season Oprah Winfrey presents The Wedding only on ABC